In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up your artboard in order to create a geometric portrait of a dog. This go through will actually be of a dog. So here we're looking at an image of a chocolate lab and I'm going to work from a different photograph. I'm actually gonna do a portrait of my dog, Doug, for this project. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a new artboard. I'm gonna to come to File, New, and I'm going to put it at about eight by 10. Now again, in Illustrator for this project, the size might change, and that might be something that I do more towards the end. But I know that my photo will come in probably at about that. So I'm going to place my photo. I'm going to come to File, Place, and I am going to get my image. Okay, so I have my image placed down onto my board. And the kind of image that I want, I just took this picture of my dog and I want it to be more so it's face on because what I'm going to do is I'm going to focus in and do half of the face and then duplicate it and flip it. So I have this image and I'm going to take it, flip it around a little bit, not worry so much just yet. I'm going to leave it just like this for now. Now the next step I want to do is I want to turn on my grid, view, show grid. And when I look at my grid, I want to make sure that my grid is set up properly. So if I come to Illustrator, Preferences, Guides and Grids, I can take a look. And I want to make sure that I have uh, that it is in front, show pixel grid, um, that grids, grid in back is not set up. And I could change the grid line as well if I'd like to. So I'm going to come on in and say, and what I have set up right here, when I come back in, I want to be a little bit closer and take a look. I can see that I have it set up that it's one inch and that there are subdivisions every 15, 15 subdivisions per inch. I'm going to leave it at that and I'm going to hit OK. Now again, I could change it up. I could do more. If I wanted to make the image larger, I could and change it around. Again, you'll get a feel for how much detail you want as you work on this project. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is I want to mm. come on in, I want to come to view, and I want to mm. click snap to grid. And I also want to come on in, and as I take a look in here, I'm going to turn on my rulers, show rulers. Excellent. Okay, next thing, I'm going to come on in, and I'm going to pull out my first ruler. And this is eight across, so I'm going to line my ruler up with four. And I'm going to come in a little bit closer and I'm going to take my image and I want to place this right in the center. Okay. Now again, I can come on in and I can even, uh, you know, grab the side here a little bit and try to get it more so, so it's in the center of the dog's face as much as possible. Now with snap on grid, uh, it's going to go from one piece to the next. So you might want to turn that off to do this. But I'm starting to think, hey, you know what? This is perfect. I like this a lot. Okay, beautiful. Now, again, I'm going to do one side of the face, but at the end of this project, I will come back in and add the detail for his white spot on his face because this is what makes Doug, Doug. So I'm going to next step. I'm going to come on in. I'm going to go to my layers, window layers. Your layers are turned on. Sometimes it's hard to see where they are. They're right behind here. Excellent. And I'm actually going to lock this layer and I'm going to come on in and I'm going to work on the next layer. I'm going to come on in and I'm going to get to work. I'm going to work with my pen tool. I'm going to grab my pen tool, which is over on my tools. And there we have it. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to look for the different shapes of color and I am going to go from point to point. It will not be exact. And I'm going to make sure that I close the shape as well. Next thing I'm going to do to get my color is I will grab my eyedropper, click. I have my first shape done. I'm going to deselect this, grab the black arrow and click on off. Now, when we work with the pen tool, I'm going to grab my pen tool. I'm doing my keyboard shortcut of P. I'm going to choose. I'm going to come in. I'm going to focus in on this shape in here. I'm going to click up in here. Again, looking at as much as I can. And every time that I click, it's going in to one of 
these corners of my grid. Again, I clicked on snap to grid and I want to always make sure that I'm closing my shapes. Now I know that I'm closing my shapes when I get this circle. I click and I'm going to turn this fill off. I'm going to grab my eyedropper, letter I for my eyedropper. I'm going to click and now I have my color. Let me go through and do more of this ear to show, give you a sense of how this project continues to work. I need to deselect this. Now, uh, what I do is I grab my black arrow. I know the keyboard shortcut, which is V, and I click off and I grab my pen with the letter P and I click. I'm going to click, focus in on this color, click, click. Again, I want to close it, grab my eyedropper, letter I, and I click V, click off to deselect. I'm going to come in even a little bit closer and focus in on this ear. Grab the letter P for the pen tool. I'm going to click, 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 click. Again, I'm going to come on in. I'm going to close this shape. I'm going to turn off the fill and I'm going to click and get this. Now, there is this darker up in here and I want to get that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bullet down my layer and I'm going to close this image off and I want to get this little dark part that's up in here. Again, I'm making sure that I close it and I'm going to click. I'm going to turn this on. Fabulous. I'm going to keep on going here. Pull this on over. Again, having a little bit of a hard time seeing what's the background and what's the dog. Um, I'm going to come back to my pencil now. I always know I'm starting a new path when I see the asterisk symbol and I want to deselect this. So I'm going to grab the P for pen again. I'm going to come in and focus in. There's a lot of this dark stuff up in here. Again, we can use a little bit of artistic license sometimes as well. I'm going to close this up, come on in, grab my eyedropper, and click. Again, I want to turn this one off. I'm going to focus on in right up in here, through here. Turn this off. Turn on the eyedropper, turn on this one, and come in a little bit closer. Now, let's say that I wanted to do a shape and send it behind. Well, I could do that too. So I could come on in right in here. And sometimes we'll find that we'll do things like this as well. And Again, so what I'm going to do now after I'm done this piece is I'm going to send this shape that I'm creating behind. So I want to change the color and I'm going to choose this color, this dark color over here. Now I want to send it behind everything. Then I can see I always know where I am because when I look at my layers, uh, this layer, the color is red that's being used. And I can see this uh, right in here. So I want to send this behind. So I'm going to come to Object, Arrange, Send to Back. Okay, I'm going to zoom it on out. I'm going to turn off this image. I can say, okay, I'm off, I'm moving, I'm getting this started. What I'm going to do in the next video is I am going to keep working on this and you can watch the video. I'll make it a little bit faster and you'll see how I work through this piece. In the video that follows that, I'll show you how I go about creating the second side of this portrait. Thanks for being here.